Hey, what's up, guys? I'm on RT, and today I'm making a tutorial on how to do a color correction that I do in my speed arts, as requested by Sapphire Flyer. It's pretty simple. All I really do, I edit the curves and I add two gradient maps. So right here, I have an image of Skrillex, which I'm going to be using for the tutorial. So let's get started. What we're gonna start off by doing, we're gonna go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer and we're going to do the curves. So click OK and it starts off on RGB, you want to change that to red, that's the color we're going to be starting with. So it depends on what, how your image is and I don't do the same curves for every image but it looks like this image has a little bit too much reds. So I'm going to take the reds bar and I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And you can see if you drag it up a lot obviously it increases the reds. If you drag it way down it decreases the reds and makes it really blue but I just want to decrease the reds kind of subtly so I'm just gonna put it at something like you know this now if we go on to the green you can see if you increase it it increases the greens and if you decrease it it decreases the greens pretty obvious what I want to do I want to decrease the greens a little bit and finally if we go on to the blues you know, I'm gonna de I'm gonna decrease this point on the blues, which kind of decreases the mid levels of the blues, so that way it makes it a little bit more yellow in those areas. So you can see this is without the curves, and this is with the curves. It's already starting to look better. Next, what we're gonna do, we are going to go to image. Um, never mind, layer, new adjustment layer and gradient map. Click OK and to edit the gradient map you're dub gonna double click right here and now you get all these different gradients. I like starting out with this purple and orange one and you can change your colors if you want but I think purple and orange works pretty well. So I'm gonna click OK and you can see this just looks stupid. Way too much purples and way too much orange what we want to do, we want to change to blending mode right here where it says normal. We want to change that to soft light. And that will do a lot. That's a, and I think it, it's a little bit too much at 100% right now. So I'm going to put it at around 60%. So it's not the full effect. But anyway, that's looking pretty nice. We're almost done with the color correction. Last thing we're going to do, we're going to go to layer new adjustment layer and we're going to add a third uh, or a second gradient map click OK and now we're going to edit it and we're going to choose one that's black and white and now click OK and we're going to change the blending mode again from normal to soft light and you can see what that does it gives it a lot more contrast if I switch between the two and it also decreases the saturation and it makes it look really nice but I don't want the full effect I'm gonna put it at 80% opacity but anyway guys that's pretty much the effect this is what it looks like with the color correction and this is how it looks without the color correction I think the color correction makes it look much better like this um, but anyway guys, I hope that tutorial was helpful. It's just pretty basic, but it's good to know how to do a nice color correction. And that's pretty much the same process I use um, when adding a color correction to my speed arts. Please like the video, and as always, comment suggesting more tutorial ideas. Thanks for watching guys.